Welcome to iLecture Online. Back in the old days, before all the electronic gadgetry and all the electronic phones and everything, we had some interesting toys. One of them called the Spirograph, where we had small little circles with little teeth on the outside and big circles with teeth on the inside, and then had little dots or little holes inside the little circles. You put your pencil in those and you start twirling them around, and what you end up with, you end up with what we call hypocycloids, different figures depending upon the ratio of the size of the big circle and the size of the small circle. Notice for different ratios, k equals 2, k equals 3, k equals 4, k equals 5. Remember that k represents the ratio of the radius of the big circle and the radius divided by the radius of the small circle. Notice the different kind of patterns that you generate. What I think is really interesting is when k equals 2, in other words, when the radius of the small circle is half the radius of the big circle, the point on the edge of the small circle actually makes a straight line across back and forth, back and forth like that, instead of something that looks like that. So we go directly across over here, we come directly back over here, and that edge of the circle of the small one simply goes back and forth along the x-axis. But when the, the ratio is 3, then what you find is you have this figure that has these three curves that of course end up in points at the edge of the big circle. We saw in the previous video when k equals 4, that's called the asteroid. Turns out that when k equals 3, the figure you make here is called the deltoid. All these are what we'll call hypocycloids. And you can see that we have the familiar shape that we saw in the previous video. When k equals 5, you can see, you can see 5 points like that. And the way to draw them, of course, if you have 5 points, you take 360 degrees divided by 5, that gives you 72 degrees each, so for every 72 degree angle, you'll have a point on the edge of the circle like that. What happens when k isn't a perfect integer ratio, for example, 4.5, then you end up with something like this. That means you have to go around twice, and the total number of points you'll have then would be 9, you double this, since this is halfway between 4 and 5, you double this number, you get 9, you'll end up with 9 points along the edge of the circle. And you can imagine that if it's, for example, 4.2, you'd have to go around 5 times before you end up back at the same place that you started with that point on the edge of the small circle. But here you get kind of a feel of what the various hypocycloids look like depending upon what the ratio is between the large and the small circle. And that's how it's done.